Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our, our Bath 595 Turismo. Um, but a few of these little baths lately. Um, this is quite standout even amongst those. Um, really sort of striking features to it. I'll take you around and show you absolutely everything I can see. Condition, spec, extras, all that sort of stuff. As if I was buying the car myself. And then obviously you can make your own mind up. Uh, Two-tone, this is how it came out of the factory. Um, I did phone Fiat and check. So I think it's Nero Black, and I can't remember what the white's called, but I will put that on the advert so you can see exactly. And that's divided by this little red strip. Our bath badge is left, right, and center. It's, I mean, it's written on the car about 100 times. Um, we've got it on the number plate holders. They are the gel 3D number plates. There is a normal set in the boot if you don't get on with those. Uh, headlight washers here, fog lights here. Alloy wheels, uh, they have got Toyo Proxis TR1 matching tyres all round and they are 17 inch. Um, generally in pretty good condition, a couple of tiny curb marks here and there. I'll show you each one as we go round. Uh, smoked side repeaters. Further our bath branding. Privacy glass to the back. Wind deflectors here. A little bit of um, the water gets under the lacquer on these sort of diamond finish wheels and that's happening in a few places there. Larger than usual spoiler I seem to note. Um, also the exhaust is much louder. This is not my area of expertise. Elaborazioni. Um, I had a look there was like a performance pack that you could buy whether it's got the whole lot or whether it's just the exhaust I don't know but it's um, this is and I've asked uh, 595 Turismo. The exhaust note is massively different here to here. This is much more aggressive sounding. Rear parking sensors. Again, the gel number plates with the Abarth holders. More Abarth badging. The little parcel shelf of sorts has Turismo stitched into it. There's those original plates that I mentioned. Got your inflation kit and some tools just under there. The locking wheel nut is present, that's um, in the front, I'll show you that when we get there. A couple of small areas there which I'm going to touch in. Smoked rear lights. That wheel is probably the worst affected by the lacquer peel and there's actually a chip to the grey part just there. It's got in a bath uh, sort of sun strip that's on the outside of the windscreen it's like a mesh sort of affair you could take that off if you wanted quite easily right that's the outside we'll go inside now start at the back black leather with red stitching in the back all neat and tidy mats all present cup holders there. I'll show you it from the other angle just so you've seen that all the seats fold forward properly and everything. Here's only a four-seater, no room for a middle passenger in the back. All black headlining and it's got little uh, suit hooks just up there on both sides. Okay, segues us nicely into the front. Uh, in the front it's two-tone, red and black. Little scratch just to that uh, door card plastic there. Owner's manual, fitting in with the colour scheme in red. Uh, the full lot is there I believe. I've included a picture of that all spread out so you can see exactly what's there but I think it's everything. Got these kind of carbon effect uh, Abarth 595 Turismo kick plates. These very fancy looking mats with yet again more Abarth branding here. Uh, front seats, right, yeah. So predominantly red with black and like a silver stitching stripe through there. Airbags built in. Airbags over here. 500 badging there. There is the locking wheel nuts that I was talking about. And let's head round to the driver's side and finish off over there. Uh, 
Okay, so on the driver's side, electric mirrors are just up here. The seat has a little bit of wear showing on the bolster there, a little bit of the die coming off. Uh, not something that I can do here, but I can put you in touch with the guy who does this sort of stuff. But overall, that is not too bad for the age of the car. Our bath branded pedals, just in case you forgot it was no bath. Then inside we have two keys, one solid, one remote, sort of flip out, blipper one. Um, windscreen wipers, lights and indicators, and matching flat bottomed steering wheel, phone controls, audio controls, split amongst the two sides. There's the miles, 83,238. You've probably noticed it's flashing. Uh, flashing indicates a fault in the electrical system somewhere. I've had it diagnosed this week. It is the Bluetooth module. So I'm sending that away for repair because the new one is for some reason extremely expensive, even though it's just a Bluetooth module. Um, so as and when that comes back, then this mileage won't be flashing anymore. Uh, sport there is this button here. So you can turn it on and off as you please. You've got your turbo gauge here and your shift light. Radio I've left on mute so we don't get a uh, copyright thing, but that is just, uh, as far as I'm aware, just put it on volume one. Yeah, just FM and AM, no DAB on there. And you've got a single slot CD as well. Sport button that I just showed you, hazard lights and fog lights. Uh, your air con controls are there. Traction control, heated rear screen, windows. Nice, really solid alloy gear knob, five speed these. Uh, there's a little storage area just there. Cup holders, auxiliary, USB, 12 volt point, and a leather wrapped handbrake lever. Uh, you've got side airbag up there, vanity mirrors here, interior lighting here, and a little power button on there, so I assume that is a auto dimming rear view mirror. There we are, what a neat little car. Um, if I've missed anything, please do give me a shout and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. I'll include as many pictures as possible of the interior, the exterior and the paperwork. Together with these videos, we're trying to give you an idea of what the car's really like and what it's like to visit the site without having to come down. We do a lot of delivery business now, so if you want this one delivered, just get in touch. We take a small deposit, prepare the vehicle, send it over to you. If you're happy with everything you pay the balance if you're not you don't uh, it's quite simple but we can explain it in further detail if you want to want to call up if you're going out in the traditional fashion to buy a car i.e visiting site here we are on the main road ferrum and gosport loads and loads of cars to look at accessible seven days a week but we do ask that you make an appointment if you're interested in one vehicle in particular um, we're a small two-man team quite often one of us here at a time and we can be out and about test drives picking up cars that sort of stuff so I'd hate for you to waste a journey coming down to look at a particular vehicle and we're not here. So yeah, please, please do phone ahead if you've got a serious interest in one of the vehicles. Okay, thank you very much for watching.